Hi there, it's Ed Hicks again. Um, I'm just making another tuition video, this time for Cluck Old Hen, just a short video running through how to play it. So, Cluck Old Hen goes right the way up to the fifth fret, um, which means we one thing you want to think about when you're playing the banjo sometimes is where your left hand is. Um, if you watch the video for Shady Grove, we're all down here in the second and third fret. We're in G modal tuning now, so um, most of the action happens on the second and third fret, the notes we tend to use, the Dorian scale. It's mostly all available. Down there on frets two and three, till you eventually get back to the top of the scale there. This tune starts up here. I'd recommend using your ring finger for the um, fifth fret and then your first finger for the third fret and then you just move down one position from what you might call third position index on the third fret to second position index on the second fret there when we change the song so the first phrase sounds like this that's all up in third position you can see my left hand here we're using like i say ring finger here index here so we go repeat like a question and answer second phrase and at this point I sometimes like to put this chord in I just put my uh, index finger on the second fret there and if you're familiar with the C chord in G tuning if you made a C chord you'd normally have your index finger there we don't need that anymore because we've tuned up our second string to a B here So that sounds like a C chord. So we're going to go. Try that. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. The tune continues and we have this phrase. So it starts to be like the first phrase, this kind of question phrase going up to the fifth fret. Then we come down here to the second fret the second string which is the easiest way without using a drop thumb to get the two notes of those open strings so we go that's an easy way to get those two notes to get a D and a C so we go pull off slide down I'm doing my pull off with the index the slide I move my hand back one position temporarily so I can do it with my middle finger so we go so the whole phrase is pull off slide down up high three pull off slide down let's try the whole thing to the C chord Pull off, again, pull off, double thumb it, That's the whole of the A part. Nice, simple, short tune. The B part, play something like. That's, that's a nice way to do the question phrase. Let's do it like that here. So we're gonna go. So 
So that starts out on the open third string. We go a pull off on the third fret. Put the finger back down so it's knock, cross thumb, pull off, knock. Then we play the open third string. And we do pull off, knock on the fourth string. So we do third string, pull off, knock, fourth string. continues and we repeat the third string pull off knock phrase. Tell a lie we don't. We go. Which is third string walk up pull off slide home. So that's your open third string. Walk up through the third fret. Pull off the second string, same slide again. No, I move my hand down to get that with the middle finger, so I prefer it. Resolve to the third string. So this last phrase is. And that's the whole of the B part. So we play open third string, the pull off. Open third string, pull off, down low. Open third string, walk up. Pull off, slide, home. So that's bits of the tune broken down. I'm just going to play it three times through now so you can play along with me nice and slow and pick it up that way. One, two, three, four. Cluckled in. Hope you enjoy. Um, like and subscribe. <laughs>